In 1969, the first two people walked on the moon. It was hugely inspiring for me. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Well, what it really was, was a demonstration that our technology had just gotten good enough to be able to do that, just barely. Two of our top test pilots in the world, if we pushed everything to the limit, could just barely land on the moon. It's a different world now. Our technology has radically increased. The complexity of getting to space has plummeted. Uh, the cost has plummeted. And so this is the moment in history where we transition from barely capable early exploration, you know, like Shackleton to the South Pole, to now maybe where we can actually start living on the moon. Is our technology good enough now that that's part of the uh, human experience, one of the places that people can live? And I think it is. We're just barely there but I think we're there. And two of the huge recent discoveries uh, and awarenesses about the moon, one, that at the south and the North Pole, you always have sunshine. There, there's, there's, there's eternal sunlight for generating power. And also the craters are shadowed. So there's water on the moon, deep reserves. Our best guess, 400 billion liters of water. And so if we have a place that's only three days away that our technology can get us to, that has unlimited power supply and basically a deep, deep reserve of water, then all that really remains for us is to be able to build the right sort of habitat and we can start living there. And that's where we are in history. It's pretty interesting. When I was born, no one had ever flown in space. When I was 10, the first two people walked in the moon. And here, now that I'm about 60, it may be the time that Instead of just living on Earth, we also live on the moon. Pretty interesting. Living on the moon is going to be an international endeavor. There's already Chinese hardware on the moon. The United States is going with NASA. Israel has been working to land on the moon. Uh, India is working to land on the moon. A lot of the leading nations in the world, including Canada, we're very much involved. Canada is part of the international project to build a, a space station around the moon. It's called a gateway, lunar gateway. And our deep expertise in robotics is being counted on to assemble and maintain that lunar gateway. But we're going to need lots more than that, too. We're going to need robotics on the surface, obviously, and, and a lot of other Canadian technologies. There's going to be a lot of mining on the moon. Um, we're expert at, at hard rock and remote mining. So to me, uh, not only is Canada currently committed to being part of the lunar exploration and settlement, but uh, there's going to be great opportunity in the future also.